Welcome to the Little Besa part of our website. What's this about? It's about shamanism. Um, I was fortunate um, in my career to live as a human rights activist with um, hunting and gathering tribes in the Kalahari in uh, southern Africa and I learned while I was with them over some years to see that there are other ways of relating to nature, um, other ways of relating to healing, other ways of relating to uh, what we would call God. Um, how does all this tie up with horsemanship? Well, what is the horse but nature? And I also, some of you may know, rode across Mongolia with my autistic son when he was five. That was a story that was called The Horse Boy, riding from shaman to shaman, um, looking for healing and finding it. Um, so I want to introduce you guys a little bit to this way of thinking. There will be horses involved in some of it. Um, the Mongolian uh, concept, Tibetan concept, for example, of the wind horse, um, spirit animals, um, how to talk to the elements, how to talk to ancestors, how to look for that quiet time in nature, the law of attraction, and how you can bring more of the things you actually want into your life um, by thinking about them, thoughts becoming things, but that's easily, that's more easily done in an environment that's designed for our organism, um, which is nature. And um, we're going to have a series of exercises and tutorials where you can begin to tap into this shamanic part of yourself to answer questions in your life um, that are entirely personal to you. This will have nothing to do with improving your horsemanship, but probably as you find healing and joy, which is what all of this is about, um, it's impossible to imagine that one's horsemanship would not improve alongside it, simply because any joy and well-being that we have is going to be transmitted to our horse. But of course it goes beyond that. Through this section you might surprise yourself and find yourself able to find joy, attract joy, bring joy into your life, find joy in a way that you haven't necessarily been doing through the part of your life up to now simply because our culture doesn't promote this. Um, let's see what the exercises that we've learned from these other cultures can help us with in order to get past our prejudices, get back to nature and truly learn to find joy in our lives.